my name is Donette Douglas. I'm the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. This program behind the scenes is taped here each week and we are in the production room. And you will also see our engineer, Jim Wilson here. He produces and directs this program. So we're so thankful for this program because why? We get to tell you what God's been doing here this week. It's always exciting. You know, we've had some awesome pastors and guests in the studio this week. And to get to fellowship with them and hear the testimonies they share of uh, seeing God work in other people's lives, and that excites me. And I pray that this week you've had an opportunity to tell someone about Jesus, to give your testimony you know, if you've come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you have a testimony because your life has changed. You were walking in darkness, now you're walking in the light. And you have something to share with people. You have good news. And that's what we do here at WTJR on all four of our channels. Yes, four channels. Doesn't that excite you? It excites me. But 16.1 is the national local programming. 16.2 is CTN lifestyle, which is family programming. 16.3 is produced right here, created by Jim Wilson, and it's Christian video channel and many of you love that channel because it has a lot of music videos has movies we have WTGR classics on there and on Saturday and some Sunday mornings we have cartoons we should say children programming I don't like to call them cartoons but I know they're animated and I grew up they were called cartoons but they're for children and you know what us adults like some of them that beginners Bible is a wonderful program we play that on 16.1 and we play it on 16.3 so if you want to know when these programs air you can always call the studio we have TV schedules that you can pick up we'll put in the mail for you or you can go on our website WTGR.org and get the schedule for 16.1 the other channels you would have to call us and we can mail it to you so let's get into the program today we have some pictures from last week uh, people that were in the studio we're going to start with Duke Duvall he hosts Conquering Your Giants, and he was here and taped some programs, and um, he tapes four programs at a time when he comes up. This is Praise 16 from last Friday. Uh, pastor Gary Wallace of River of Life Church hosts the program, and the guest pastor was Pastor Chuck Hetzler from the First Union Congregational Church here in Quincy, and they prayed over the prayer request. We have George and, and uh, Sharon. They are their volunteer camera operators. And uh, George was on the camera three, and that's the one that moves from the lobby to the studio. And so he gets his exercise uh, here when he's taping uh, Pray 16. Amen. Uh, that was in the uh, production room, and past, well, I should say missionary Keith Garner. He and his wife now are missionaries to the Asian Pacific area, and uh, he was here to help us on the switcher in the production room. Then this last week, we also taped live, I should say. We had a live show of um, Revive America. And on the uh, left there is Michael. He's a volunteer camera operator. And we were just waiting for the time to get started and get in our places for the program. And you'll see some more pictures. This is uh, Spencer Camp Ministries. Uh, they brought uh, worship music, very anointed, gifted young men, and uh, they uh, bring forth music before the preaching. And of course, uh, evangelist Robert Newton uh, brings the message. And you'll see several different pictures here in the studio, the camera operators. We have a full crew for that. These are some of the people that were sitting in the audience. Beth and Joe Foster, they are with Powerhouse Ministries, and Bob work with him, travel with the tent, so some of you may recognize them. And some of, the, of our dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, they came to experience it live in the studio. Bob was preaching about reclaiming those wells. Powerful, powerful message that night. And then this is Bob's wife, Stephanie Newton. And at the very end, we had time of prayer around the altar up there. And, and she played some worship music and sang for us. So it was good to have her with us also. Then we taped Pray for America programs, two of them this last week. On the left is Gary Slockover. He hosts the program. And guest pastor was uh, Pastor Shane 
uh, Tomko from um, Parkview Church right here in Quincy, Illinois. And it was two powerful programs encouraging people to pray for America and also that our country was founded on Christian principles and it's just really very educational programs but also they will encourage you as we come together in faith and pray for America. Amen. Also, David Vance, uh, you recognize him. Uh, he uh, was co-host on Friends of Wild Olive Branch Ministries here for several years with Kyle Kopp, and he has now became an or ordained minister. And he came back to tape a Pastor Speaks program that you'll see in the next few weeks here on WTJR. Then Mark Norton was here to tape uh, Pastor Speaks and his wife, Marcia. We're just fellowshipping out in the lobby, and yeah, Kyle came along with David. <laughs> he came along, they gave some great fellowship time, and it's been a while since they've been here in the studio. It was so good to see them. Amen. And there is Mark as he's uh, on the Pastor Speak set, and uh, we just had a great time of fellowship. I just uh, love to fellowship with brothers and sisters in the Lord, and like I said earlier, hear the testimonies of what God's doing in their life and what they've seen God doing in other people's lives. Amen. God is moving people. I'm telling you. You may not think he is in your life, but I guarantee you God is moving. And I tell people we better be moving with him. We might get left behind. I don't want to be left behind. How about you? Amen. Okay, let's get to an update for our HD fun here at WTJR. We have a new update, and I want to thank every single person. Yeah, thank you, Jim, for reminding me. I didn't read my script very close there, but we want to show you the video first. Then I'll give you the update, okay? This is Jim Wilson, engineer here at WTJR TV in Quincy, Illinois. And WTJR is going HD, high definition, on our main channel. And part of the project is we're going to have to upgrade our SD, which is standard definition production department. We're going to need HD cameras. We'll need three of those. And then we're going to need uh, three tripods and dollies. We'll have to have an intercom system and a tally system. Also, we're going to need a new production switcher. And this will allow us to switch HD. The current equipment we have now won't switch HD and it won't record in HD either. Then we're going to need HD recording devices and we're going to be recording directly to hard drives in this case. And a new character generator that will output HD to the HD production switcher. This and other miscellaneous items will come to a total of $20,000. So our budget for the HD project is $20,000. Remember here at WTJ are. We are your viewer-supported Christian television station. We thank you for your continued support and your help on this important project so we can continue local production at WTJR. And I want to thank Jim Wilson, our engineer here, <coughs> who produces these spots for us. And from time to time, we uh, produce a new one. We want to keep it all updated as uh, the donations come in. Uh, we want to keep you in the now as to what's going on with the WTJR HD Fund. It's exciting to see people send those donations in and get excited. I love it when you get excited about what we're excited about here at WTJR. Amen. So. We have a new total, and that total is $3,458. And we're so thankful for each and every one of you that have sent a donation in. We've been so blessed by each one of you. Now, this is a production upgrade, switcher, cameras, and lighting. And in the, <clears throat> we need three cameras, stands, the cables, the tally light, there's some other little remotes, uh, parts that go with that. That's $12,500. And then in the actual production room, we need a switcher, recording equipment, and the character generator. That's $6,500. And some lighting upgrade of around $1,000. So we need your help. You have been so good in the past. Anytime we needed equipment, we've done this for 33 years, and you've always been there. 
to help us raise the funds we need for the equipment. And as we show you the pictures and the amount of money they cost, then you send the money in so you know what your funds will be going for. You will help us to have a very better quality of picture. And also we can produce HD programming that we can send off to other stations and some of them will be in the CTN affiliates. So I'm excited about that and we're going to reach more people. See that's my main thing, reaching more people so they will know about Jesus. Amen. So if you can help us, send your donations to WTJR TV 16 to 22 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Be sure and mark on your donation is for the HD fund. And again, I just say thank you for being obedient to what God laid on your heart to do, to be a part of the ministry here, you know, because we are working together. It takes all of us doing our part till Jesus returns. Amen. Okay, I want to invite you to prayer here in the WTGR studios on Monday at 1 p.m. You can join us and stand in faith as we pray for our country, for CTN, WTGR. We pray for each other. We pray for the uh, prayer requests that come in uh, over the phone or social media. Um, we lift those things up together and uh, spend time with the Lord. And it is a very rewarding time, I'm telling you. Every time you spend time with the Lord, your relationship gets stronger, your faith grows, and things happen. I know and I believe it, and I'm thankful that we have the privilege of praying together. Amen. Okay, if you need prayer, just call the station here, or you can email your prayer request to pray16 at wtjr.org. Pray 16 is our live call-in prayer show that we have on Friday mornings, 11 a.m. to 12 noon. Then we repeat the program on Monday evenings at 9 p.m. And even though it's a repeat, we do have a phone operator, so you can still call in or get on social media, send your request, okay? And we will be sure to pray for those requests that come in on Monday evening the following Friday on air. Amen. So winning training here at WTJR, we use the soul winning script from the Great Awakening. If you're interested in that, give us a call and we'll be glad to come. We'll do personal training or we'll come to your church or your youth group, Bible study group, and uh, maybe just you, you and two or three other people want training. We'll come train, we'll pray with you, we'll train, and we'll go out with you and tell people about Jesus. Amen. Still collecting the postage stamps, and you can either drop them off here at the studio, or a lot of you mail them with your donations, and we thank you for helping to reach out, because the money is used to purchase books uh, for missionaries to help teach children in other countries. Coming up this next week on A Woman's Joy is Bible Trivia, Our Joy in the World, Word program that I host and uh, that will be on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. and you notice there in the bottom right corner is a new logo that we have for CTN WTJR Quincy, Illinois Hannibal, Missouri and Keokuk, Iowa because that's our DMA area and there's the bridge because we span the Mississippi with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Also coming up this next week on Outreach Connection, we have Dory Docterman, and uh, she's from Canton, Missouri, and she is an artist. And the mural on the wall that you see every week on Outreach Connection, uh, she painted. And it's just a beautiful mural. We've been so blessed by it. Many people enter in the studio and they just are just touched by it. And she was here to talk about being an artist and giving her testimony. You can watch that on Monday, July 24th at 11 a.m., Wednesday, July 26th at 9 p.m., and Saturday, July 29th at 5 p.m. And Outreach Connection is hosted by Sherry McDaniel. Coming up on Pastor Speaks this next week is Pastor David Barton, and he is with uh, Heartland Community Church in Newick, Missouri, and he brought a message belonging to the family of God. You can watch that on Sunday the 23rd at 2 p.m., Tuesday the 25th at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday the 26th at 7.30 p.m. Coming up on the family movie night, we have a letter from Joe. 
That will air on Saturday, July 29th and Sunday, July the 30th. On the Saturday night, you can watch it at 8 p.m. And Sunday evening, you can watch it at 11.30 p.m. And we do have a promo of that movie we would like to show you. Mark that on your calendar. These have been some really good movies lately. And you want to be sure, invite somebody over and make some popcorn. Have a good time of fellowship, okay? But watch this promo from A Letter from Joe. And that is the movie that's coming up on July the 29th. That's a Saturday at 8 p.m. And Sunday, July 30th at 11.30 p.m. And it's a letter for Joe. A letter for Joe. Before we go to our bridge today, CTN WTJR is your local supported Christian TV station. And we now have a very special spot from our founder, Mr. Bob DeAndrea. And he's going to tell you about a very special opportunity you can have to purchase the Red Letter Bible. And just, you know, I've often heard people tell me, take time, just sit and read the Red Letters in the New Testament, the words of Jesus. And I'll tell you, it's powerful. He preached powerful. He preached the word. He preached meat. <laughs> and praise God for the Holy Spirit that helps us to understand it. But now you have an opportunity that you can purchase a book that has just the red letters in it. So listen now as Mr. DeAndrea talks to you. Hello, friends. The words of Jesus are the most powerful and life-changing words ever spoken. We want you to have this special book. It's called The Red Letter Words of Jesus. This book will encourage you in your faith journey. For a gift of $15 or more, you can order your copy at ctnonline.com or write to the address on the screen. And if you need that address, I know it wasn't on the screen very long, just call us here at the studio. We'll be able to uh, give that to you. Also, ctnonline.com. You can order this red letter Bible for $15 donation, and I know you will be blessed. We have been um, studying the Gospels uh, and during our employee meetings. And we picked the Gospels because there are a lot of red letter words in there. And we're wanting to hear a word from God. And as we read uh, each, we go one chapter at a time, and we go around and, and the verses that stuck out to that person, they can talk about. And I'll tell you, we've been learning a lot <laughs> from just reading the Gospels. And like I said, there's a lot of red letters in there. I know you'll be blessed. So again, if you need the address to write to, if you want to order that, just call us here at the station. 
and uh, or you can go online at ctnonline.com to order it. Amen and amen. Well, we've been thanking God for a long time for prayer, and we're thanking God that CTN is hope. CTN is hope because we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ came and brought hope into the world. I want to use for our scripture today, Psalms 33, verse 12. <clears throat> Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he hath chosen for his inheritance. Blessed is the nation. Blessed is the nation. What? whose God is Lord. And you know, you hear about this on a lot of Christian programs, that we need to turn back to God. Well, we do that by humbling ourselves, by praying, by seeking His face, which means being in His presence, and turning from our wicked ways. Yeah, Second Chronicles 7.14. He says, then He will hear us and He will heal our land. Prayer is a very big part of healing. Whenever change comes, and I know that in my own life, <laughs> it comes from the times that I have either bowed a knee, <laughs> yes, sometimes we just actually need to get down and on our knees, we bow our head, we just turn everything off and get with the Lord and talk to Him, but things will change when we spend time in prayer. He's proved that to me that he's very faithful to hear and answer our prayers. I want to read uh, 1 Timothy 2, back in the New Testament. And many of you probably know where I'm going. 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 through 6 for you. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Father, our Savior. We who, will, we who have all men to be saved, I'm going to start that again, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, one mediator, or peacemaker between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due times. So God has told us to pray for those in authority, to lift them up before his throne. Today I'm going to share part of an email that I got from Rodney Howard Brown and the River Church in Florida. We air the Great Awakening here on WTJR CTN. And he is asking for people to pray for President Donald J. Trump. He's asking us to pray for protection, wisdom, direction, and that God would surround him with godly leadership. That the hearts and ears of those surrounding our president would be attentive to godly counsel and do that which is right in God's sight. That the wicked be cut off and rooted out. That the word of God prevail and grows mightily in the hearts and lives of the people in the United States of America. That another great spiritual awakening will sweep across this land the United States of America. We started with the verse, blessed is the nation whose God is Lord. To be able to serve the Lord as a nation, we need to have Christian leadership. We also need to seek God for that leadership. And that is part of what praying is sometimes, to ask God for guidance for uh, godly wisdom, for discernment, for his leading, you know, and he will do that because he wants us to be a nation 
that brings honor to him. You know, many times we hear, God bless America. But I think it's time that we say, America, bless God. We are so privileged in this country to live in freedoms of worship. Freedom to have Christian TV stations. Freedom to carry our Bibles. Freedom to pray. And I'm thankful for that. Like I said, when to have a nation that is serving the Lord, we need to have godly leaders. Not only the president, vice president, house, senate, even in our states, in our city and town government. Amen? So I want to read this prayer that Rodney prayed for the president. Father, right now we lift up President Donald J. Trump to you, his wife, his children, and everything that he is. Father, we pray supernatural protection upon him. Lord, that you would even speak to him in the night hours and show him exactly what to do. Give him supernatural wisdom, favor, and direction. Father, be about him as a wall of fire that no harm and evil will come near him. Pull the wheels off of Pharaoh's chariot. Let President Trump be steps ahead of the enemy. If they dig a ditch for him, let them fall in it themselves. Thank you, Lord, that you are giving America one more opportunity. We pray that the word of God prevails and grows mightily in the hearts and lives of the people in the United States of America. That they would see Jesus as he really is. Thank you, Lord, that we will have peace in our country and in the nations of the earth. Thank you for peace even over Israel. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another great spiritual awakening in America. We thank you, Lord, for the harvest of souls that is going to come in. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And if you would like one of these sheets that lists the one, to, there's five different uh, areas they are asking you to pray for President Trump in. And this prayer, you contact us here, uh, the phone number on the screen, or send us a letter, or email us, and we'll be glad to put it in the mail to you, or if you want to come by the studio and pick one up. But I want to encourage all of us to every day lift up prayers as God has commanded us, supplication, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority. Let's pray for them each day that our nation will be a blessed nation and we will what? Be blessing God. God bless. CTN Inside Report with Founder and President Bob DeAndre. Hello again, friends. Well, if you've been watching any of these this week, you're just having a love fest, aren't you? 1 Peter 1.22 says, Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit, 